Mr. Inanna, many thanks for joining us on the program. This is your fifth office in Africa and the first one in East Africa. What motivated this move to the region? MasterCard has identified uh, the Africa, African continent as possibly one of the frontiers where there is a lot of upside opportunity in terms of uh, leveraging the business proposition that we offer, which is really uh, putting into place a global uh, network. Um, and partnering with both commercial banks, uh, commercial entities, and financial and uh, financial institutions, governmental institutions, to provide that network, um, you know, for 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 the provision of financial services. Your entry comes at a time when you're facing stiff competition from other card payment solution providers. How are you differentiating yourself to penetrate in this market? Well, basically, I think with the launch of the proposition that uh, we we've done jointly with Equity Bank. Um, that is the culmination of uh, possibly two years' worth of uh, deliberations with our partner, Equity. Um, and just the scale of that uh, particular proposition, I think, just demonstrates to you uh, how much work and how committed MasterCard is to this particular marketplace. Uh, essentially, we're looking at five million cards being converted from a proprietary database to become uh, MasterCard branded cards. You talked about what is the differentiation. Well, EMV is a differentiator today. Um, it's available, I guess, from many different suppliers. But I think the, the point is, how do, you propose, how do you provide that proposition in such a way that it adds value back to the partners that you're working with? So we are going for chip and, and pin from an EMV perspective. But over and above that, we are also adding in some differentiated uh, uh, technology platform there from an acceptance standpoint, which we call PayPass. Essentially what it means is customers will be able to take an equity, such, such an equity card, and just go and have a very differentiated experience at the pay point. Instead of having their card swiped, they would go to a terminal that has PayPass, which is PayPass enabled. So using NFI, tap on the terminal, the transaction goes through, they move on. So you can see there's a, there's a real payment efficiency there in terms of queue management and the whole customer experience piece. Now, all these strategies are geared towards financial inclusion, which is a key pillar in Kenya's Vision 2030. However, according to the Central Bank, 12 million Kenyans are still locked out of the formal financial system. How are you tapping into this? Key value for MasterCard is not only to do well commercially, but also to do good in the markets that we operate in. So financial inclusion for us is, is, um, is, is, is a very important priority in terms of allowing us to be true to striking this balance between doing commercially well and also doing, uh, doing good. By partnering with uh, partners such as Equity Bank, um, what you're basically doing is you're democratizing um, electronic payments. You are providing a card proposition uh, to even those who in years gone by would have been probably thought of as, as people who are not bankable. So uh, that democratization process is happening on two fronts. It's happening on the issuance front. So I think you can see that, for instance, and this is all in the public domain, I think from equities customer base, all their customers are going to be issued with EMV papers cards. That's five million in Kenya. But also on the acceptance front, uh, there has to be a radical shift in terms of the, the, the quantum of, of points that customers can use their cards. Now, by increasing that ecosystem on the issuance and acceptance side, you're basically opening up the field for all spectrums of the market from a, uh, an economic standpoint, from an income standpoint, to be able to play and enjoy the benefits of uh, electronified payments. You operate the world's fastest electronic payment solution. Seeing the technological advancement in East Africa, are we ready for this? I believe we are. Uh, let's look at mobile point of sale, for instance. I mean, it's really amazing that you can take a $50 uh, device uh, slap it on the back of an Android-based uh, mobile phone, and suddenly you can become a merchant. So, you know, that whole uh, conversion um, opportunity that this technology is actually bringing, conversion and cost-effective, using existing infrastructure, using the, the internet, using the, the, uh, the mobile um, networks uh, from a data standpoint, means that you've taken care of things on the acceptance stand. Now, the technology to deploy uh, chip and pin cards, it's already in existence in this market. So it's about mating the two.
um, and that that's now becoming a reality. Lastly, Mr. Inaina, your short-term and long-term targets for the year 2013? Well, we've started the year well. Um, uh, we have uh, obviously got this mandate that we are looking at. Um, I think for us the key is now to bring it into life uh, and to basically by end of year see a change in the payments landscape to have our MasterCard branded cards being one of the key transactive tools in this market to have bigger and better acceptance uh, from a card perspective. I think th those are very important uh, aspects for us.